Internet. Interconnected network. Internet. Interconnected network. What is the Internet? The term Internet is derived from interconnected network. The Internet is a globally interconnected network system that enables devices to connect and share data worldwide. Netizen is the term to describe individuals who use the Internet. The 1st of January, 1983 is considered the official birthday of the Internet. Internet allows users around the world to exchange data, access web services, and communicate in real time, making it a vital tool for global connectivity. What is an ISP? ISP stands for Internet Service Provider. ISPs, or Internet Service Providers, allow your devices, like computers, smartphones, etc., to connect with the Internet. ISPs, or Internet Service Providers, are companies or organizations that enable your device with Internet access. Without an Internet Service Provider, or ISP, individuals and organizations would be unable to access the Internet or engage in online activities. Where is Internet data stored? Server store Internet data. Server stores websites, web pages, online video, and online content. Server is actually a collection of websites, web pages, online video, and online content. A data center is a physical location of a room or building where computers and servers are stored. The server is a part of the data center. A data center is a place where those servers are located. How are ISPs connected with servers? ISPs are connected with servers through submarine cable. ISPs and servers are connected by submarine cables across the globe. ISPs and servers are both connected for data exchange. ISPs and servers work together to provide Internet access. ISPs and servers are interconnected. Submarine cables are connecting servers with ISPs across the globe. Submarine cables are long cables that run under the ocean and connect different countries. Submarine cables carry Internet data around the world. Submarine cables play an important role in connecting ISPs, Internet service providers, and servers across different regions of the world. Internet service providers, ISPs, use submarine cables to connect with servers. What is submarine cable? Submarine cables are long cables that run under the ocean and connect different countries. Submarine cables carry Internet data between ISPs and servers. Submarine cables carry Internet data around the world. Telecom companies and Internet companies have spread submarine cable all over the ocean to transfer data. Companies have spreaded submarine cables through ocean between all countries. Companies have connected. All submarine cable are connected country to country. Submarine cables are made of fiber optics. Submarine cables help transfer data over long distances underwater. Your internet works through these submarine cables. You can, you can check the website submarinecablemap.com. The link is there in the description to see where these cables are located around the world. Submarine cables help Internet service providers, ISPs, link to servers around the world. The data travels from your ISP's network to the server through the submarine cable.
Submarine cables link ISBs to servers across oceans. Submarine cables are run across oceans and connect different continents. Submarine cables carry massive amounts of data between countries by using high-speed fiber optic technology. When you use the internet, data flows between your ISP and servers through submarine cables. ISPs are linked with servers through submarine cable. How does the internet work? A server stores websites, web pages, online video, and online content. ISPs, Internet Service Providers, enable devices to connect to the Internet. ISPs enable Internet connectivity. ISPs and servers are interconnected. When you go online, your device connects with the ISP. ISPs connect with servers. When you search online, your device sends a request to your ISP. ISPs find the fastest route to the right server. The server sends the requested content back to ISPs, then it reaches your device. This process happens almost instantly. What is packet switching? A small unit of data is called a packet. Protocols ensure that packets are sent, received, and processed correctly. Data sent over the internet is split into packets, which are then transmitted through Reuters and switches. Once all packets arrive at the receiving device, they are reassembled in the correct order for display. Packet switching is a method of sending data by breaking it into smaller packets, which makes data easier and faster to transfer. Protocols like TCP IP, Transmission Control Protocol of Internet Protocol, make sure the packets are sent, received, and organized correctly. TCP makes sure all packets arrive in the right order and are not lost. IP decides how to route the packets to the right destination. Vinton Cerf and Robert Kahn created the TCP IP protocol, Transmission Control Protocol, the Internet Protocol, which is the system that helps make packet switching work. What are the different types of Internet? Connections? Fiber optic? Cable connection. DSL, digital subscriber line. Wi-Fi. Satellites. Cellular networks. Broadband over power lines, BPL. Dial-up. Fixed wireless. ISDN integrated service digital network. These types of connections are all methods that can connect devices to an Internet Service Provider, ISP, or to a network for accessing the Internet. What factors affect Internet speed? Bandwidth Higher bandwidth number means the network can carry more data in a shorter amount of time. If the bandwidth is 100 megabits per second means the network can send or receive 100 megabits of data every second. If the bandwidth is 1 megabit per second means it can only handle 1 megabit of data each second. Latency Internet speed depends upon latency. For example, during a video call with two participants, you as the speaker and the other person as the listener. The higher the latency, the longer it takes for the signals, audio, video, to reach the listener. When latency is low, your voice and video reach the listener in real time. Lower the latency means faster the internet connection. Signal strength. 
stronger signal strength result in faster speeds. More people are active on internet less speed is provided. Less people are active more speed is provided. Device performance. Older devices, such as smartphones, laptops, or PCs with outdated hardware may not be capable of handling high-speed connection. Modern router offers better speeds, range, and capacity, especially in homes with multiple connected devices. Latest router and latest device can boost internet speed. Slow or overloaded servers can affect download upload speeds. ISP quality and ISP infrastructure impacts the overall speed. If you find this video useful, if you find this video informative, hit the like button. Your likes are very precious. Your likes are very valuable. Like this video. Let us know how much time do you access the internet during the day? I access the internet for dash hours. Let us know in the comment section.